Hello, Perry Township students. Today we're going to look at Gale and Context High School or Student Resources and Context. This resource is one of the best resources for online research. Starting at the Perry Township Resource Portal, scroll down to Quick Links on the lower right hand side of the page. Choose iLibrary and Inspire. If I scroll down, I will see Top Picks and Student Resources and Context is under Middle School, but it is also under the Top Picks for High School as well. Select the Student Resources and Context icon. From home, you will need to type in the password INSPIRE123, no capitalization, no spaces. At school, it automatically connects. So now, if you don't know what your topic is for a research paper or for your project, you can start with Browse Topics. And then any of these blue links can, may be clicked on to find out some topics. Fast food, if I scroll down, what I will see are different types of articles. They show the first three. Let's say reference is like encyclopedia. They show me tw their 12 articles, but only the first three are shown. Okay, and so I can get some ideas scroll scrolling through article titles uh, and just skimming and scanning articles to find ideas for what I'd like to focus on. Okay, so another way to search is to go to advanced search. That's if you know what you want to search about. So let's say obesity is what I want to want to look at. Also, when I search in a database, I want to select full text documents. Check mark that box. Most online databases do have that option and that allows you to retrieve full text articles rather than just an abstract. Okay, and there are a lot of hits in different types of resources. So reference like encyclopedias, there are 124 articles. There are 5,800 academic journals. There are four primary sources, which are like actual speeches or laws, magazines, eight, over 8,000. So it would take a long time to go through every article here. Uh, sometimes I skim and scan article names and see if I can get ideas of how to narrow it down. But one thing I can think of is, I, I think I heard somewhere that maybe sugar might affect obesity. So I'm going to go back to advanced search. And I'm going to add another keyword in. Now, online databases search using keywords, which is different than the Internet where you can just type it in as you think about it. But you really have to have main words of your search. To, uh, to find your articles. So I'm going to try obesity and sugar. And I'm going to search. Okay, so that definitely did narrow down my, my choices here. I have a lot less hits, which will be more specific in nature. Magazines. I only have 484. I have 107 academic journals. Academic journals are magazines for specific professions. So medical fields and nutritionists will have magazines that they read as a professional. And so those might be a good area to get information. Okay, so I can skim and scan in here. Fast food, that even could be something that I would want to search. If I keep scrolling down, Ah, sugar tax. Tax sugar and fat. Well, that might be a solution. That might be something I want to look at, and I could I could even search. I could go revise my search and put in sugar tax. And that might be something that I might want to research then. Okay, so I'm going to pull up one of these articles about fast food and obesity. So here is my article. I like how the database articles a lot of times will look like a textbook and it will narrow it down into subtopics 
for you to help you understand. And this is ex especially helpful if you don't know much about a topic. And this article is actually giving me some ideas, soda tax. Maybe I could just do a search on soda tax and see how that's helped decrease obesity. All right, so here's my citation for my Works Cited page. I could copy that and paste it into a Works Cited page in a Google Doc. If I need a different way of formatting, if I need APA, um, that's, it'll show me how to do that, and I can copy into my document as well. So that is a wonderful feature that these online databases provide. Another thing that I can do is I can look at the different articles Lexile measurement. They do, they're all Lexiled, so I can see how difficult it is to read. I can save this article to my Google Drive, and this is an amazing uh, resource to be able to do this. I will first need to give it permission to link to my drive. So now, okay, so if I go under recent, the article is in my drive. Now sometimes you have done other things in your drive and now it's no longer the most recent, now it's not the most recent thing. You can go to my drive, all in context, high school will put a folder in your Google Drive and it will drop all of the articles saved from that resource into your drive. And so it should be in here. Ah, fast food and obesity. I have had I have downloaded other articles into my drive. So now I'll go back to Gale in context. I can go back to my results and I can go find another article. And I can always jump into the other areas by clicking on one of these blue links. Contact your Perry Township Schools school librarian for more information about this resource.